in this tutorial we are going to explore the color map so first we'll start with why do we need to use the color map basically this color map will enhance the visuals of your graph it will enhance the visual interpretation of your data then it will also help in identifying the trends and patterns in your graph we'll just twist this graph and see here you will be able to see there are two spots right so you will be able to identify there is something at these two places right so using this visual interpretation using this color map you will be able to identify several patterns and trends in your graph so that is what the use of that is what the need of color map in matlab okay so it's clear to us that what is the need of color map now i'm going to tell you what exactly the color map is Basically, the color map is the process of mapping a particular data range to a particular color segment or to a particular color. That is what the color map is. Here you can see we have this data range 8 to 6. So this data range has been colored using this gradient yellow to orange. So here you can see whatever the data point lies in between these two data ranges that will be colored using this gradient color so that is what the color map is and now i'm going to tell you how to implement this color map in matlab so for practice session if you want to generate random 3d plots you can use these commands so the surf peaks will generate this random 3d graph you can generate few others also this membrane command will generate a beautiful MATLAB logo with different colors, right? So we'll close it and we'll go with the previous one. So using this, you can create a 3D graph like this, right? But now what do we want? We want to observe the data range of this graph. So in order to get the data range, what you're supposed to do? You're supposed to write color bar. So using this color bar command, you can see the entire data range mapped with the color range. Here you can see that there are fixed variation of color from yellow to orange to green to blue, right? But if you want some another color for your graph, that you can simply add. So in order to define a particular color in your graph, you should use this command color map here on your screen you can see the list of predefined color maps if you want to use this predefined color scales then you just need to use the color map name which is given with that so let us say we want to map a heat map so to show heat we should use a yellow color a red color right so we'll use this hot command and we'll run this so you can see here the graph looks like this instead of this hot color you can use any numbers of color let's say winter so this is the winter color map so you can choose any of the predefined color map which is available with the matlab and the list you can see on your screen but this color map it is not limited to this predefined color maps you can create your own color map for your graph so let me show you how to create your own color map for your graph in order to create a custom color map for your graph you need to specify a map of three column matrix of rgb triplets let me show you how to do that thing let's say m is equal to 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 so this is the three column matrix for the rgb triplets in this the first column represents r second represents g and third represents b and this row represents the percentage mixture of this r g and b and it will form a new color for us so we'll use this single color for our graph so now we'll plot the same previous graph right and here we are going to assign a color map 
so in this color map this m we are going to use as our color map so let's run this thing so this is a single color graph why because here we have only one row now we want to create another color so let's say we are adding 0.2 in r 0.1 in y and 0.4 in b and let's run it again so now you can see we have two color graph if you want multiple colors for your graph you can add more rows to it for example we are adding a pure white color which is 111 and then we'll add some another color so here we have four colors and now we are running this again so you can see here we have four colors to our data range so here on your screen you can see the table using which you can generate your required color using this combination so that's how you can add as many as color to your graph here we have added selected colors for our graph and in previous example in this example we have this winter preset for our graph and when we run this winter preset we can see we have the gradient of the colors right but in this gradient you can control the numbers of colors appears in the graph for example it was initially a gradient but now what do you want you want to appear only two colors right so you just write two and the entire graph will be polarized in only two colors if you want to add few more colors to it for example seven so it will add seven colors into this graph instead of this preset let us try something else let's say and we have this seven layers of lines so using this type of color combination for your data you can extract some important and key information you can get some key findings from the graph so that is why this color map is really important so there are so many things you can do with your graph in matlab and here i have presented few of them if you want to learn more about matlab you can visit this matlab tutorial playlist and explore matlab for your learning so until we meet again in our next video till the time bye bye